A-E-B. 79 AEB, Sunday Night Hall of Fame, and we've got a new guest in the hot seat. We'd like to welcome Doc, Bob Doherty. How you doing, Bob? Oh, good, good. It's great to be here. Glad you could make it. Bob, back in the 1960s, was a member of one of the biggest Lehigh Valley groups of all time, the King's Ransom. And Bob, maybe you can tell us who some of the group members were back then. Okay, we had uh, Bob Worley on lead guitar, Vince Homick on rhythm guitar, Glenn Zosky on bass, Chuck Hoey on drums, and the last year of the band, Ronnie Gowland played keyboards for us, and I was the uh, crazy person out front. You were the lead singer. Yes. You're the guy a lot of people have some memories playing in this area. <laughs> I don't know what memories they have. That's the truth. You guys were a very big local band. You basically stayed in the valley, didn't you? Yeah, basically around here. We had, uh, after the record came out, we had success up in uh, near the Harrisburg area, Milton. And we were pretty big up there. Did you play some colleges and things? Yeah, we played Bucknell up there and uh, Shikalemi High School, if you want to believe that or not. Some summer dances, which was really a lot of fun. Were they playing the record up there? Yes, they were. We had a uh, little bit of success up there with the record. Basically, you were one of the groups that stayed right here in the Yeah, Lehigh we Valley. played, you know, during the winter, you played the fraternities at Lehigh, Muhlenberg, Lafayette. Played the barrooms, uh, Jamaican Agogo, the Green Pines, um, the Left Bank down in Easton, which uh, not too many people remember that. It was a great place to play. A lot of fun. Have some good memories. Lots, uh, lots of good memories. Well, we're going to talk about what Doc is doing and some of the other members at the King's Ransom in just a couple of minutes. Here's the record everybody remembers. W-A-E-B. King's Ransom with uh, Bob Doherty, lead singer, and Shame, and that was a big local record. I've been asking everybody this. Do you remember how many sold of that? I honestly don't remember. I never I never got any figures. I really didn't. I think we could have had a little bit more success if there would have been uh, maybe a national, national distribution or something, but we just there was just never enough money and it you stayed know, things like that. It stayed local, right? Yeah. Integra Records was an Allentown label. And uh, it was owned by four gentlemen right here from the Lehigh Valley, most of them with radio backgrounds. Bob Kratz, Mm -hmm. who's still in engineering and radio in Easton. Uh, Craig Kincaid was associated with the Rust stations, NWAEB, right up until a year or so ago. Jim Merrill, and then Tiger Joe McLean. And Joe McLean's name appears on the record, Shame, as, I believe, the producer, right? Yeah, he was down with us in Philadelphia. Yeah, and that was uh, Integra number 101 before we played Robbie Taylor number 103. Now there's one in between there. What's the name of this one, Bob? This one's uh, Shadows of Dawn. Vince sang this one. Vince yes. Homick? Yes. You yeah. are not the lead singer on this No, I didn't, I didn't sing on this one. I wasn't in the band at the time. That's another story. Do you sit and think in the shadows of dawn As the beams of moan show your life on dawn And your friends are gone when your mind went wrong With your mind so quick and your smile of charm Reckless love's breathing when you're gone Thinking you were 
Integra number 102. Was there ever an Integra 104? <laughs> I don't think so. I huh? think it just, you know, there just wasn't an, uh, never enough money to do the things that they wanted to do. We had a lot of good ideas, but it just never came about. Well, we'll have to ask Tiger Joe next time we run into him. Well, you played basically the Leah Valley, as we said earlier. You want to name some of the clubs you played in? Let's ring a few bells here. Most of the time, after our manager, Mike Homick, uh, opened up King Arthur's Court, that was our home base of operations, and we played there. You know, just about almost every week. Played the Mad Hatter once or twice. They were competition, so we didn't play oh, there yeah. too often. And we played the Purple Owl uh, quite a bit. That was a club I was open for a year or two. Now, Purple Owl was the east side. Yeah, that was an east Remember side of Valentine. Jay shaking his yeah. head at that one. We played a gig with uh, Jay and the Techniques at uh, Dorney Park once. I don't know if he remembers that. I remember it well, and he had a lot of fun. I think Jay, they played down at the court a couple of times, too. I remember that. King Arthur's Court was down on Route 309 near Quakertown. That's an auto store now, or yeah, auto parts store. You, I was in there. <laughs> you get strange feelings when you, yeah, when you I went drive in there up. for windshield wipers or something Did once, you? and it was, it was strange. <laughs> get, what is this place here? It was really strange. You hear the shame echoing in the building? <laughs> yeah. Uh, Mad Hatter. Now, that was Tom McCool's place. That's uh, uh, a paint store now. Yeah. It's a paint and paper or something. Yeah. Now, one we missed, didn't we? The Mod Mill. The Mod Mill, yeah, that was Jerry Dean's place. We played there only once or twice, too, because he was competition for right. Mike's place up the road. But we played there, I think, uh, once or twice. Can you tell me uh, what some of the members of the King's Ransom are doing? Why don't we start off with yourself? Are you still in music and all? No, I'm not. No, I'm, I'd like to be, but I'm, I just, I'm just not. I quit while I was ahead. I had to, well, when the band basically broke up when Vince and I left, I had to go in the service. I was around the Vietnam era, and uh, when I get out, nothing just ever came together. I work uh, for the post office right now. Lots of fun. Are you out Lots on the street fun. as a... Yes, I am. You are a mail People carrier. People blowing the horn at me all the time. That's great. Hey, I know him. Hey, here's Doc. <laughs> Not really, but occasionally it happens. People <laughs> you, say hi. You know what uh, Bob Worley is? Bob Worley is uh, working with the Steel. I think Chuck is at the Steel. Vince is at GE. Glenn uh, Zosky works for GTE uh, up in Boston as an engineer or something. How about Ron Gollin? He, uh, last time I heard, he was at Morris Black. I'm not sure. He went on to play with Jinx, who they were real big around here for a while. Mike Homick still has the yes. barbershop in Bethlehem, does yes, he Yes, he still cuts hair. as you know. He says he really enjoys it. It relaxes him. And he owns uh, Mickey Kelly's East and West. We had a lot of calls about getting the King's Ransom in and finding Doc. And we found you. <laughs> I crawled out of the woodwork. <laughs> Thanks for stopping by and our salute to local hits and local groups, and we shall continue in just a moment. Rod Wolf's Hall of Fame!
to Rod Wolf on the Lehigh Valley's original Sunday Night Hall of Fame. W-A-E-B. The greatest hits of all time from the station that made them famous. W-A-E-B.